Hello everyone, this is Cindy from My Lesson Films and these are five creative ways in which you can use a mini tripod and even more specifically the Manfrotto Pixie. Now the primary tool that I use for all of the smartphone films that you've seen on the channel is the Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal. To be fair, I like it quite a lot. I've been relying so much on it for the past year and a half. But that being said, and to be fair, I wouldn't put the gimbal through some more unconventional situations. Now the gimbal does have its own small tripod, it's a grip tripod, uh, so it gives you some support and just some extension to it. But to be fair, I wouldn't rely on this to put the gimbal on some more uneven ground. So with that being said, this is where the mini tripod I think comes quite in handy. Now, the Pixie is not by far something new on the market and with a variety of mini tripods, it might not even be at the top of your list if you're looking to buy a mini tripod. Now, there's one thing that I quite like about this mini tripod and that's its bow head. Now, you can see here the Manfrotto logo, but behind it is hidden the trigger to release the bow head. So, if I go ahead and I press it, you'll be able to see that now I can easily move the ball head to any position that I like and when I release it it's going to stay fixed into this position so now I can't actually move it now the ball head itself is quite smooth moving as you can see here it's easily adjustable as well and the moment that you release like I said it's fixed into the position that you've left it in now I'm not a all talk and no show type of person so I'll be taking the pixie with me outside and I'll be putting it through some fun experiments just to see how it handles with some more unconventional ideas for shots and I think it will be fun and helpful to see just how much flexibility you can have with a mini tripod like this and if you choose to do some more like outdoorsy types of shots where you wouldn't want to put your gimbal or you wouldn't want to carry your tripod. Now I'll be using my old HTC phone as a second camera uh, just to be able to capture some of the locations and some of the places that I choose to put the mini tripod on. Fair warning, I have no idea how the footage from this phone is going to look. Uh, I just hope I can match the frame rate uh, after that, but I guess we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my brown shoes because there's bound to be some mud involved into this let's just go and see how exactly creative are the five creative ways in which you can use the Manfrotto pixie I do always make sure that my mini tripod is secure. I don't want to leave it and just turn around and have it tilt over and fall down. The rocks are kind of slippery, there is a little bit of a moss over them and the pixie does have uh, rubber soles on its legs so that prevents it quite a lot from slipping but still it's good to make sure.
And as simple as these shots are, I do believe that they show the potential of using a mini tripod. So that was fun. I kind of think that we proved the point here that demand for the Pixie is a pretty handy thing to have. I think we did show its capabilities and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to do with this and a lot more creative ways in which you can uh, use it or just experiment with it. It's a simple tripod, but it's sturdy enough, it's stable enough and it does get the job done no matter how unconventional your idea seems to be. And design-wise, it's a pretty comfortable mini tripod to have. It has this nice firm feeling to it. Imagine if you're like vlogging, you want to use this mini tripod, so you just go ahead, uh, press the trigger, adjust the ball head, and you're good to go. So maybe after that, you want to put it down on a table and just continue your vlog in a different way. So again, you just press the button, adjust the ball head, release it and you are good to go and that's just in seconds but still do be careful when you decide to do a shot in some wacky weird way i think your gear is much more important than just achieving some shot so put some mind into the way you want to film things so yeah if you are in the market for a tripod or a mini tripod do keep those two things in mind leg stability and weight support and base that off of the device that you are going to be using be that a smartphone or a camera so maybe you even want to mount some of your lights it does matter how much weight uh, a tripod or a mini tripod can carry all right thank you so much for watching the video i hope you've liked it if you have hit the subscribe button but also do like and leave a comment and let me know if you use a mini tripod if you've used the manfrotto pixie and also if you've used it in some of the ways that you saw in this video or maybe you've used it in some other way do let me know i do appreciate all feedback and just a general conversation about mobile filmmaking if you found a creative way to use your tripod uh, do share it till next time